Community leaders met tonight to discuss immediate ways to keep the streets safer for you and your family. After six homicides in six days and another shooting Thursday afternoon, the community is taking a stand. This is a community issue and it's going to take a community effort to make it happen. The Human Resources Council Community Police Relations Initiative hosted a forum Thursday night to discuss ways to stop the gun violence. How can we increase community awareness? Dormitria Thompson is still grieving after one of her students, 13-year-old Brianna Rogers, was shot and killed Sunday afternoon. She's trying to turn her pain into something positive by being proactive. I'm tired of us being reactive and coming together for forums and coming together for events. This, I want us to do this, but I want us to move forward in implementing things that last long so that our streets can be safer and our kids can be safer. Dayton's NAACP president Derek Forward agrees. He says the community has already lost too many young people. We are going to start walking some neighborhoods together uh, as community leaders together and letting these young men and women know uh, it, you know it's okay to be yourself but it's not okay uh, for the for you know for doing the violence and shooting one another uh, every single day of the week. Now, if you want to take a stand against the violence, just go to our website, WDTN.com, and click on this link, on this story, rather, to find out how you can get involved. Reporting live in Dayton, Jackie Sprague, 2 News.